Good morning everyone. So last night I was awake like exactly nine hours ago and I saw that NBH was posting a video saying with like with this thumbnail scam and like once you see this you'll be like what is going on and apparently there's a little bit of a drama going on. There's a little bit of a bad thing going on in the Vietnamese version and as you can see this is a main Pokemon. This is a top players account and their strike cards got reset by the admins. So let's go and understand what happened. Hey yo everyone, welcome to a new video and I hope you guys are having a nice day because apparently the Vietnamese players are not, uh, are, are really not. So let me just start from the beginning. What happened over here on the Vietnamese version? For those who missed my stream or those who don't even watch my stream at all, uh, on the stream I explained something very interesting, which is, let me see, this. Okay, so technically, on the Vietnamese version, there was a bug with strike cards, where you could just go and max out a Pokemon with diamonds infinitely. So technically, you would, you would have free stats. Okay, there was a bug that you could exploit with diamonds that you would have free stats. This is a VIP Zero account with 20k on the HP, 10k on the, the speed and almost 20k on the special attack. So, as you can see, there was a big exploit going, uh, going around and they blocked the strike cards for a few days. Uh, as you can see di directly on this video, you have no option of powering up. You have no option of strike cards, of uh, increasing your strike cards, because they blocked this function while they were taking care of it. Some of these accounts actually got banned, which is understandable if you have like a VIP Zero account and you exploit this much, I mean, it's normal that you get banned, like you exploited way too much for it to, to be considered like forgivable in a way. Uh, and some people might argue, oh yeah, but it's a bug in the game, yeah, but you have a common sense, okay? L like, there's a common sense that if you exploit something this hard, because this is not like a, like a simple bug like that gives you a little bit of power. This is like, this is a hard exploit. So, like, according to common sense, if you are risking yourself to exploit something this hard, well, you are risking yourself to get banned. And I would kind of, kind of agree with that situation, of course, like, you can appeal, uh, and they probably came out with a, another solution, which was like, well, for people who have developed accounts, instead of banning, since they, uh, they give us money, that I, I believe that's what they think, uh, instead of banning, since they already have a developed account, let's uh, reset the strikes instead. And this ended up being a very bad. So this was a video that NBH actually posted yesterday, and I do follow NBH once in a while, I do check uh, his videos once in a while, he posts way too much because Vietnamese people, they just love mobile games. Uh, but yeah, v NBH posts a lot of uh, Pokéland Vietnamese content, and he even provided me one Vietnamese account like very long ago to make videos, to make live streams, and I appreciate him a lot for that. And one thing that happened is that he posted this video saying that on a top account, let's actually go over here. This is a VIP 19. You guys are not seeing because there's letters in the way they go. VIP 19 account. And he was showing, I believe he was showing the recharges. I think he's just basically going over here and showing all the recharges that exist on the account. And the account right now, as you guys can see, it has like 624,000 diamonds. And what happened is that all the strike cards of his top three Pokemon, which I'm assuming it was Unova, uh, Creator Arceus and Overlord Sword, all the strike cards of his top three Pokemon got a reset. This was because they suspected that this account was using cheats. And what I mean by cheats, I mean like, of course, abusing the bug itself. Then I tried to ask over here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, I tried to ask over here in the comment section if somebody could actually explain in English, because translating Vietnamese 
it's very hard it's really very hard to, for the <laughs> you guys already know so we have over here a lot of people explaining so thank you a lot for every, all of these people that replied and all of them say exactly what i just mentioned before admin reset the breakthroughs of the nbh account and because of that the owner of the account decided to quit the game if the admin doesn't return the breakthroughs in the next three days this is because they mostly believe that this account exploited the bug but then again Having evidence for an account that exploits the bug, it's hard, okay? The, the best they can do or the best they can have is actually having like screenshots of their uh, stats providing like, hey, uh, I did not cheat or I did not exploit any bugs. This is a screenshot of this day, etc, etc. That, that would be the best that they can do. But then again, uh, as an administration team, if they don't have the logs or they are not sure of something, they should not do something like this. It's it's crazy. Like, just imagine you being a top player and like you just log on your account and be like, oh, I have been falsely accused of something. Of course, I'm not saying that this person is being falsely accused because I don't know the, the story. I will never know the real story of what is going on, okay? I'll just trust on NBH's uh, side of the things and I'll just assume that actually this account exploited the, the bug, but this is something we can never know if it's uh, exploited or not. But the truth is, even if he did not exploit, his try cards are already like, uh, like it's already refreshed it's already reset he lost all of his progress on the account imagine waking up one day and seeing this on your account it would be horrible because of this on the vietnamese community there's a lot of people like angry at the situation and there's even some saying like hey i i'm going to sell my account i'm going to the english version they are even sharing over here the link of the Pokéland Legends Club. Oh, you don't know what Pokéland Legends Club is? Pokéland Legends Club is a website just about Pokéland where you have the daily weather. If you are VIP Zero, you can just come over here. You can see accounts for sale. You have like multiple things like information about the wiki, like a lot of information over here. Download links and stuff. So if you are curious to check all of this, the link is in the description. So go give it a look. And of course, on the English version, we already had a similar case, okay? Like, when there was the Resonance Dialga bug on the English version, a lot of people got Resonance Dialgas for like 100 books, you would get 10 Resonance Dialgas. That was the bug that was happening on, the, on our English version. And I've heard of at least one person that got his legit Resonance Dialga removed, and the developers did not return him. According to that person, he says that it happened that, and now that it happened on the Vietnamese version as well, I would not be surprised at all if the what, whatever this person is saying is true. Because, I mean, I do believe that the Resonance Dialga was removed from the account, it's just, it's hard for me to understand how they could not get it back, because they have evidence, they have screenshots, but they claim that they didn't get the Resonance Dialga back, so I'm not going to discuss on that because I don't know myself if he actually got the Resonance Dialga back or not. But of course, this is a little bit out of that topic, that would just be to give an example of uh, things that happen on the English version as well, like at the bigger scale, the Resonance Dialga thing was something at the bigger scale where the admins were removing the Resonance Dialgas from all of the accounts manually. And over here, uh, related to strike cards, it's really hard for the admins to actually like think of a solution to be uh, like uh, for example you can also imagine yourself in the position that you know that somebody exploited the bug but you don't know how to report it or you don't know how would it, would it be fair to just to punish this person because technically if somebody exploits this bug even if it's just for like 1000 2000 stats it, it still ends up being unfair for the people that are directly competing with this person. But of course, for such a big account that usually... Uh, and if he's claiming that he did not do it, even if he did just a little bit, uh, I believe it's also unfair to completely erase the whole progress of the account. Because basically the strike cards, as you guys know, Strike cards is uh, the biggest like progress that you can have on your account nowadays. 
even though the base stats also count a lot but for uh, like the bigger players for the the higher level ones the, the ones that play for the longest strike cards are the ones that actually just matter so much but hey if there's any vietnamese viewer of mine that knows how to reproduce this bug please contact me because we want to know if this is working on the english version or not uh i believe like we should fix this before uh, it becomes even a problem because like you don't want this in the game you don't want to exploit this for your own good because somebody will find you and you will get banned it would be much better to just report it i believe that uh, whoever reports this this is a game breaking bug and the admins would for sure compensate you so whoever knows this when uh, if you guys know that this is working on the english version or not just please send me a message links are in the description and we can talk about it okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video